He's got long sideburns and his hair slicked back. And he steals all your health and you won't get it back. He's the honky tonk man, the greatest intercontinental champion of all time. I'm gonna see a few different setups with him here. First one is with Bray Wyatt and Trickster Roman Reigns for stealing more health. Bray Wyatt means he's got a one turn countdown gem move that goes off on turn one. And this is for against purple move guys because it steals purple MP after one countdown turn. So you want to put it in a spot where the opponent's not going to break it on their turn. And now it goes off and drains their purple MP and fills yours. Now these two purple moves, the first one is a health steal. With Trickster Roman, it's between 15 and 20,000. This is a four-star Honky Tonk Man unleveled past the Evolve, so he will get better. The finisher deals damage and then a bonus for every purple gem on the board. So that was a decent sized finisher and he's fairly easy to keep recycling against these purple MP guys because this black move is only a four charge. So if you get one black match, you're filling it and putting that countdown turn gem out again but you're only waiting a couple of turns if you don't get that black match. Just a matter of playing a bit of defense to make sure the other guy's not getting a lot of damage in on you while you wait for that countdown gem to go off. But even a small amount of damage, no big deal because you're stealing your health back. This is the second time around. This time the finisher doing close to 40k damage this one's going to get the job done against the big boss man. An alternate setup here is to use his two black moves. The other black move is also a four charge one turn countdown gem and it puts purple gems on the board. So that helps with that finisher. But let's see another move set here. This time instead of stealing more health, we're going to put Big Show who's gonna make that finisher more potent. It's gonna hit harder. So you're stealing a few thousand less in health, but doing a lot more damage on that finisher and trying for the pin. So we got a black match, which means our countdown turn gem is gonna go out again. We're stealing our purple MP, put another countdown gem out there, so we'll be able to steal more on the next turn if boss man refills. Now we're stealing health. This time it's a little less. Instead of 16k, it's 13k. But now this finisher, which hit for about 38, 39,000 in the last match, this time 47. So that's a nice big buff. And if you were to use that other black move instead of the health steal move, you'd have more purple gems on the board to buff that finisher even more. Either Big Show or Seth Rollins Tough, uh, who gives more damage to purple gems, he would buff the finisher as well if he had a lot of purples on the board. The bonus for all those purples goes up with Tough as the trainer. So we're gonna hit another finisher here, which is close to 50K. And this one should do the job. So he's one of a large variety of purple MP steel guys, but the fact that he's got a health steel as well means he's pretty much self healing and not taking a lot of damage. Not super slow, I mean that was a two minute match. Now against non purple guys, we're subbing out the purple MP steel move for that other black move that I mentioned, which is the same thing. It's a four charge countdown gem. But instead of stealing purple MP, this one puts purple gems on the board. So again, in a spot where it doesn't get broken by the opponent. And now you'll see 
five purple gems go on the board, which not only help charge those two purple moves that you have, but it helps buff that finisher. The more purple gems on the board, the harder that purple finisher hits. More purples on the board with that countdown gem and we got a black match, so another one goes out there. So early on in this match, it looks like, you know, death by a thousand paper cuts, but eventually that paper cut's gonna turn into a pretty gaping wound here because there's a lot of purple gems on the board to help with this finisher. And even more. That's the one danger with countdown gem guys who put gems on the board is that they can cause a pin. So we had our purples loaded there and we were gonna get a big number on gold dust, but because of all the accumulation of purples out there, it made matches and caused a pin. So we took a little more damage, but we're gonna steal some of it back, 13K with that steal. And now the finisher That one's close to 60,000. So don't sleep on Honky Tonk Man, especially against purple guys. He's very valuable to steal that MP and he can do some damage with some low charge moves. And that finisher, when done right, hits pretty hard. Honky Tonk Man, four stars.